It took me seven years to get to this moment. Finally, I broke through the plateau and climbed my first V7. If you are neither a teenager nor a talented climber, I bet you can relate to the joy of breaking into the V6-7 range. I want to share with you guys everything I went through, so hopefully you will find some information helpful for you to break through your own personal plateau. I started climbing about 11 years ago. It took me 3 years to get to V4s, another year to get to V5s, and then I was stuck in V5s forever. To me, climbing was fun and I never attempted to train or seek out any help, so I plateaued. It's not until last year that I decided to train on the hang board for the very first time, and I filmed the training process of myself for 30 straight days. That video got really popular, and I got a lot of comments asking me whether the hang board training results led to climbing a higher grade. I always reply, not yet, but this motivates me to seek out ways to improve my climbing. I started to listen to climbing training related podcasts while commuting for my day job. These podcasts include Training for Climbing and the Training Beta podcast. Each episode is at least an hour long and I chew them all up. There is a lot of rich information, but to be honest, it's probably more geared to high level climbers. Different strong climbers have different approaches to training and I was not able to tell which one would work for me. But then I got extremely lucky to have a chance to be trained by Paul Robinson for one session. The training plan he gave me is personalized for me, and I have been following it ever since. After following Paul's training plan for a month, my completion rate on V5s and soft V6s shot up quite a bit. I felt like I advanced for half a grade at this point, but I felt I needed to at least complete one soft V7 in order to advance for a full grade to V6. However, it was surprisingly difficult. No matter how I trained or climbed, I wasn't improving. On top of that, because I trained and climbed so hard, I injured my lower back and my fingers were often on the verge of getting injured. Then it dawned on me that I need to shift the focus to recovery. So I first tackled the most important issue in terms of recovery. Sleep. I discovered a company called Renfit that makes mattresses with sleep and recovery technology. So I decided to try it out. The difference between this mattress and my cheap random mattress from IKEA is enormous. My lower back sinks less on the Renfit mattress. And at the same time, my upper back and shoulders don't feel sore as they used to when I slept on a firmer mattress. I'm in deep sleep longer than before. And my shoulders and lats recover from soreness a lot faster. To be honest, getting the mattress from RamFit is one of the best decisions I've ever made. I also started to incorporate mobility exercises for my shoulders, wrists, hips, and ankles. I also got a foam roller, so I can self-massage my muscles with a foam roller every day. After all these improvements on my recovery along with my usual climbing and training routine, I started to make progress again and eventually climbed my first V7. I also tried out some unorthodox ways to improve my climbing, such as getting trained by an Olympian gymnast and working with a chiropractor. Sounds crazy, right? They help and I will upload videos dedicated about them in the future. Here is what my typical week looks like nowadays. At noon on Monday, I strength train my shoulders and antagonist muscles in the gym. At noon on Tuesday, I climb. At noon on Wednesday, I climb. And in the evenings, I hang board at home. At noon on Thursday, I go to the gym for mobility exercises. At noon on Friday, I climb. On Saturday morning, I swim to loosen up my muscles and get some cardio. On Sunday morning, I play basketball to get even more cardio. And in the afternoon, I climb and do Paul Robinson's personalized training workout. To recap, here's how I broke the 7 year plateau. Number 1. Get a personalized training plan from an expert. Number 2. Climb and train consistently. Number three, focus on recovery. Number four, don't be afraid and be open-minded about trying new things. Here's a full clip of me climbing my first V7. I also want to thank my longtime friend, super strong climber Max, for giving me tips on climbing this V7.
thanks for watching. Be sure to check out RamFit in the video description below. And don't forget to use the promo code GeekClimber to get 10% off your first RamFit mattress purchase. Trust me, this will be one of your best decisions in your life. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.